While the issue of a sports policy has existed for some time now, one would have thought that a change of government would have brought about some type of change, at least for sport. Yet Guyana stands in the same puddle it continues to plain as the water gets increasingly murkier. In November of 2016, at the launch of the prestigious National School Championships, the then Minister with Responsibility of Sport, Nicolette Henry, gave the following statement about the sports policy. Um, I, I have to say that the policy will come on stream, and when I say on stream, I meant it will be launched, hopefully, by mid-2017. If you are familiar with policies, and I suspect you are, you would recognize that it goes through a process. And therefore, that process requires um, engagement with stakeholders and the community. And that takes time. And that needs to happen before any policy could even be considered as an initial draft and you know, go through it, iterations to become a final draft and then to be launched. Um, and if you have an appreciation for due process, you'd recognize that speaking from <laughs> you know, November to mid-2017, it's pretty much a short timeline for a national policy. So um, I don't know it's being held up, but I know it's going to, it's required to go through a process, and I don't see that process coming to end prior to mid-2017. With that being said, Henry gave her estimation of a legitimate time frame for a national policy. So it's much broader than just reaching out to a few associations or federations. It calls for um, a very holistic approach and that will require, as I said, several iterations. Um, you will meet with people, you'll meet with associations, you'll go back to the drawing board, you will come up with a draft that will have to um, benefit from input and, you know, it goes through that process several times before you come up with something that you can actually call a draft that is inclusive, inclusive and representative of all the input that you would require over um, a period of time. So um, from my experience and where I sit, I, I'm not familiar with a policy, particularly at a national level, taking anything less than six months or thereabout. However, it has been well over a year since Henry's statements about the sports policy and with the move of Department Sport to the Ministry of Social Cohesion, along with the change of the minister with responsibility for sport, one has to believe that such a policy will take a much longer time to be realized. The government's inability to develop a sports policy might just be part of the reason Guyana has not produced an Olympic medal since 1980. The current minister with responsibility for sport, Dr. George Norton, has the opportunity to change the trajectory of sport in the nation but since Henry's involvement in sport, any sighting of a sports policy talk has been rare. It leaves one to guess the importance of sports to the government since every year it is basically the same talk over and over, infrastructure development. However, a well-known theoretical physicist once said, doing the same thing over and over, expecting a different result, is called insanity. Tristan Joseph, Newsroom Sport.